Hello everyone, welcome to Meteo Mark's Weather, welcome to the channel, it's great to have you here with me. We have a lot to talk about in the tropics, we invest 98L, that's right, invest 98L, this big old red area that we're going to be watching, let's just zoom out a bit, and we're going to be watching this system, there is invest 98L, it's going to be progressing towards the northeast here, and we could see this system potentially become our next tropical storm and likely potentially a hurricane as well. Where is this storm going to be headed? I have all the details for you along with all of your weather. Let's get into it. Here we go with the European model and I'll show you the GFS momentarily. But there is our Invest 98L, our big area of potential development likely to become our next tropical name storm. Invest 98L has a lot going for it out here, really just blossoming. And over the next several days as we go throughout Sunday into Monday, it's going to be moving towards the Northeast Caribbean Islands here. And you can see it really starts to get cranking here 11 p.m. on Monday the 12th. And we're going to watch this thing progress through the Lesser Antilles towards Puerto Rico. European model's a little weaker. That would be more optimistic. Hopefully that stands true. The GFS goes bonkers here, and I'll sh just show you that blasting it up into a major hurricane pretty quickly but here it is european models also more optimistic with respect to the bermuda high being way out here by the azores retreating and then we have a big high pressure blocking as well as a trough right in between which is going to start to help progress that system more towards the northeast we don't have too much other waves other than the cape verdes out here look at this we have a Quite a bit in the wave action, pretty far to the south here. So we'll have to keep close watch on that. But watch our hurricane here. Recurving. Let's see how close. There's Bermuda. So we're going to have to keep a close watch here for Bermuda. Taking it just east. And then look at that. That east coast trough as well capturing the storm. So it's going to be really close. It's all about timing. This is the 18th. And then pushing it up just to the southeast of Canada. So the European model would be the most optimistic model. And here it is as we head with the European model through the 18th, 19th, and 20th. We start to see some more tropical wave action and continued tropical moisture here across the southeast U.S. And the big Cape Verde Island wave out here by the 20th. So here we go with the GFS model. Brace yourselves because as we go into Sunday and Monday... GFS, if this holds true, we could have a tropical storm very quickly here. And look how fast to the west-northwest this is moving. This is the 13th. We're heading into Tuesday already. And this thing cranking into what looks like a hurricane, bearing down on Martinique here in Dominica and just to the north of St. Lucia here, just south of Guadeloupe. And look at that, heading towards Puerto Rico as a hurricane. And then we start to see this system pivot a little bit more towards the north. It looks like it's trying to form an eye here on the 14th. So as we head into the middle of the week, heading right for the Dominican Republic. So this track would be very bad for Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. And then heading right up through the Turks and Caicos, this looks like a major hurricane. So this is something we're going to keep close watch on. Here is the area of high pressure, the big old Bermuda High, way over here in the Azores. We have a blocking high off the U.S. East Coast, and there's our trough. So it's a very similar setup here to the European model. Look at this. Not much else happening out here. So as we continue to go out here in time, let's take a look and see what the GFS is showing. So there's that recurvature going on in response to that trough, and you have that blocking high off the U.S. East Coast. So I know a lot of you have been very anxious for good reason from florida north carolina northward to new england i caution you because the gfs is about to do something on this run let's take a look i know it was doing it on the 12z here's the 18z look at this heading west to bermuda this is going to be really close because watch what happens here right around the 18th into the 19th yeah it's still getting very close to cape cod here Here's Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Maine, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Long Island here. So this is going to be really close. Yeah, in fact, this run is still taking it into the Gulf of Maine here. This is just not good. Yeah, and th this would show, I mean, by this point, it would likely be extra tropical, but you're still looking at a major storm here 
uh, in landfall in Maine. So the GFS has been consistent with this, whereas the Europeans taking this way, way, way out to sea here. So the GFS is showing a blocking high to the northeast here, hence why it's bringing it into the eastern New England coast. Before we continue with our weather, uh, don't forget, if you love this video, smash that like button. It really does help. And question or comment down below. I'd love to read your questions or comments. Keeps our weather community active. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that bell notification button so you're alerted with all my future video weather updates. Let's continue. Thanks to TropicalTidbits.com for this intensity forecast. So yeah, Invest 98L, as it approaches the Northeast Caribbean Islands, likely becoming a hurricane. It's debatable, Category 1, Category 2. I, I think there's a pretty good shot this thing becomes a Category 2. All right, so taking a look at mid-layer dryer analysis here, thanks to Tropical Tidbits as we head through the next couple days, Sunday and Monday into Tuesday. There is our Invest 98L. All the dust is locked up in the mid-layers northeast of the system. Not a major thing. There it is becoming a hurricane near Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, recurving out just west of Bermuda. There's that dry air off the east coast, but we have to watch because there it is uh it it may not be enough to actually save parts of new england and southeast canada and here's the european run here it is a little bit further to the north and a little bit weaker but as we head in time strengthening it to a hurricane and safely exiting way out to sea so we'll have to see which one of these is correct Euro is a lot stronger with the East Coast trough, too, a lot more progressive and a lot more dry air. And we've headed throughout the rest of the tropics here. Intertropical Converted Zone looks very robust as we head through Sunday, August 18th. And here we go, going down to the Caribbean here. Central America, yeah, as we head through this week, it's not going to be as heavy, you know, 50 to 100 millimeters here, anywhere from about an inch and a half all the way up to three and a half inches but look at this jamaica the cayman islands pretty much stay dry bahamas it's over here into the eastern caribbean i'm going to go over momentarily but look at that caribbean up to the cayman islands you're going to see about 35 to 50 millimeters nothing more than a half to three quarters of an inch so as we get into the eastern pacific or yeah the eastern pacific the eastern caribbean here look at this yeah this is towards tuesday the 13th the 14th and the 15th we're going to be looking at our potential system here we're going to keep it close watch because this could be a major thing for the northeast caribbean islands here uh puerto rico the less northern lesser antilles the virgin islands and maybe even as far west here as the dominican republic so we're going to keep close watch even bermuda up here this is where we're going to see 100 to as much as 150 millimeters of rain this is a solid three and a half to as much as six and a half inches of rain all right, the Western Pacific here. We're still talking about Maria out here. Tropical Storm Maria. You know, it's on the down, though. You know, was a typhoon heading towards northern Japan, just north of Sendai out here. Not really what you need after the earthquake situation. We'll continue to monitor that. But there it is, heading into the northern prefectures here. This is the 11th into the 12th. So as we head throughout Sunday into Monday, you're going to be getting some heavy rain, gusty winds, weakening to a depression by then. Do we have anything to talk about? We actually do. We're going to be watching another area of low pressure. A few more areas of low pressure. Look at the Philippines here, just socked in with monsoon-type moisture. So let's just progress this into motion as we head throughout the 13th, the 14th, the 15th. Yeah, we have the potential here for another tropical system sitting off the southeast coast of Japan here. There's Tokyo with respect to this system and pushing just off the east coast of Japan. So we'll have to keep close tabs on this potentially becoming a typhoon and look at the intertropical converted zone just blasting up here any one of these could become a storm european model really hanging on to this developing just east of taiwan so definitely keeping a watch towards the 19th and 20th and then bringing it up just south of shanghai by the 20th all right so our future radar here what is going on here as we head through Sunday morning. So as we head overnight, there's not too much to talk about. We have some showers and thunder shower action across North Carolina. Parts of the Western Plains here, not too much here. A few showers and thunder showers in Florida and a few lake effect showers here off the Great Lakes. But as we head into Mon or Sunday morning, thankfully it's not Monday morning yet. 
Look what we're going to be looking at. An explosion of showers and thunderstorms here across the southern plains. Parts of southern Ontario up here in eastern Lake Ontario region. A few cells developing and some tropical moisture a little bit here into Florida. And as we just put this into motion, there's not a whole lot to talk about here. In fact, most of these storms weaken here across Arkansas. We are going to be pummeling some moisture here. We do have some lake effect bands that could be affecting Buffalo here north of Erie. Maybe the northeast side of Cleveland. And then here across northern New York State as we head throughout Sunday afternoon into the evening here towards 8 p.m. So we'll keep a close watch here. You know, some of the cooler air crossing these Great Lakes. It's kind of crazy that the lakes are actually warmer than the air, but that's what's going on. Lots of shower and thunderstorm action here across the plains. And we're continuing through 5 a.m. on Monday morning as we see those shower lake effect lake enhanced showers and thunder showers here in the parts of northeast those drop south of the throughway towards the southern tier of new york northern tier of pennsylvania through 6 p.m on monday the 12th here so there it is there's not a whole lot to talk about here no large major large scale systems here a lot of high pressure that is built in all right so picking up where our future radar left off here yeah, it's looking beautiful across the east. Exception here, we're going to continue to see tropical moisture here pinwheeling around that western periphery of that high pressure. We have a little bit of some shower thunderstorm action here, northern New York, southeast Canada with a response to a little trough heading into Monday as well. Showed you that on the future radar. But look at that high pressure building in for the 13th, 14th. There's our potential hurricane off the southeast part of the screen here rocky mountains out here getting some wet weather with some strong thunderstorms out here in the plains we'll have to keep a close watch here 15th into the 16th ohio might 16th here might be your next chance of some significant precipitation so we'll have to watch out for shower and thunderstorm activity it looks like a very potent low pressure so yeah, we'll be looking at, you know, watching our hurricane off the coast here. And then this next system, that that is going to be the interaction we're going to be watching. So there it is, European model meeting the two up and helping to push our potential hurricane well off the coastline here. Ah, here we go. The European QPF decided to load here. All right. So as we progress here, you can see... This week, yeah, the Carolinas and Florida, still some tropical moisture. So that comes a little bit towards the middle of the week. And then European model keeping our tropical system, you can see off the coastline here as well. So we'll have to keep an eye on it. But look at this. We got a big system moving up through the plains here into parts of Southeast Canada. All right, looking over to the GFS this week, you can see that tropical moisture just hanging out across Florida. The Carolinas, one to two inches locally higher to three inches. You can see the GFS keeping our big tropical system on this run off the coastline as we head out in time. But you can see, look at a lot of moisture here, even up in tier parts of the Great Lakes at North. These purple areas, one to two inches. These red areas, two to as much as four. And above this yellow zone, that's where we're looking at four plus inches. So for some Canadian weather here, what's going on up here in Canada? Well, we got mostly dry conditions. That's not good for the wildfire situation. We have some clouds and some scattered showers and thunder showers here. As we head into Sunday, into Monday, you can see we have a little trough hanging out here. Also, a little disturbance out here in British Columbia and Alberta area, southern provinces here. But for the most part, as we head through the next week here, you know, we have this little system out here near Manitoba, some shower and thunderstorm action on the southeast side of this low pressure system way up here in northern Saskatchewan. But for the most part, we're not looking at any major large scale systems until we get into... Here it is next weekend, Southern Ontario. Could you actually get some beneficial rains here? It's quite possible. This looks like some stronger thunderstorms though with that potent low pressure system. So we'll have to watch out for damaging wind, large hail, isolated tornadoes, even into Southern Quebec as we head into the 17th, into the 18th. So watch out. And then of course, this gets kind of stalled out as it kicks our potential hurricane off the Southeast coast. But I caution you, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland here. Please keep an eye out on the tropics. I'll, I'll be updating you throughout the week uh, because we're going to make sure hopefully this actually safely passes to your southeast because the GFS brings it up to Maine in this region here. Canadian precipitation here. It's really dry. Yeah. 
I'm not going to lie here. This is not good. Until we get to about the 16th, 17th, 18th, look at We have a parade of systems, a big system that's going to come into Southeast Canada. This could put us up to 90, 125 inches, three to five inches here. That'd be some welcome news. Help the wildfire situation. There's a little bit of spotty activity out here in western and central provinces as too. We'll help you get about 30 to 60 millimeters, about half to three quarters of an inch. And before we continue, don't go anywhere. I got plenty more weather for you. Take a look at these awesome maps from my affiliate. I am proud to announce that I am now an affiliate with Trilogy Maps. TrilogyMaps.com bringing you the most digital, customizable maps found nowhere else on the internet. These maps are simply stunning. It's an advanced layering system that makes these maps great for making forecast maps with ease or any other maps that you would like to display important information on. The resolution on these maps is simply amazing. From the detail of everything here in the States, and you can also create stunning, digital, professional layered maps from also across the entire world. And don't forget in checkout, the discount code option, use my code, MediaMark, hit apply, and you will get 20% off your order. So if you want the most professional, customizable, and affordable weather maps found nowhere else on the internet, look no further than TrilogyMaps.com. Link in the description down below along with your discount code. So if we take a look at temperatures here, we're looking through Sunday, look at the deep south here. We are looking at 90s and 100s, but look at this big area of 70s here across the northern part of the country. This is a welcome sight all the way through the northeast into Monday. So if you have the whole week off next week, it's going to be beautiful uh, for the most part here as we head into Tuesday. Look at this 80 degree line way down into parts of the mid-Atlantic here. We are actually looking at 70s here across several states. This is really nice. We're actually starting to cool it down out west as well as we get into Wednesday. Look at this heat building here in the Southern Plains. Still right around 80 here in the Ohio Valley. So we're warming up just a little bit as we go throughout the week. You can see that uh, higher 80s moving into the Ohio Valley as we head into Thursday. And then the last day, Friday, TGIF, look at this. Yeah, for the most part, we're looking pretty temperate. Texas and Gulf Coast states are looking in the upper 90s to low 100s. Extended outlook from our hometown viewers, being into the Grands of Persuasquia River Valley, New York, and Pennsylvania. Yeah, look at this. This is looking beautiful as we go through Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and beyond. It looks nice, mostly sunny every day. Sunday and Monday afternoon, you might have a chance of a shower or a thunderstorm, but for the most part, it should be nice in the upper 70s. Look at that sleeping weather in the 50s and by the low 80s by the middle of the week. As always, thank you for joining me for this edition of Media Mark's Weather. Also, don't forget to join me on Facebook at Media Mark, also Weather Northeastern, also Twitter at Weather Eastern. Don't forget it's MediaMark.com. And don't forget, if you want to send me a coffee, there is a link, Super Thanks. You can smash that Super Thanks button or my PayPal link in the description down below. You can buy me a cup of coffee. Thanks, everyone. Share that video. Subscribe if you haven't. Smash that like button.